unusual story. All right. <clears throat> this is a story coming out of the Atlantic. Uh, it's Why Do These Lizards Have Green Blood? by Ed Young. Uh, now, the weird thing is this started back in 1969. Two biologists were hanging out in New Guinea. Uh, and they came across these three lizards that had, well, they were green. No surprise there. Um, it was from a deep green blue, uh, to a vivid lime hue and everything was green. I mean, the, the entire inside, the bones, the muscles, the blood, everything, the mouths went open, they're green, they're green, green, the eggs were green. You look them up the light, it's green shells. So this guy, Christopher Austin, uh, he was about three years old when the two scientists, uh, Alan Greer and Gary Razes uh, were writing about the lizards. Um, when he finally became, he was about 22 years old, he became, I guess, infatuated by it. He wanted to know why they're green. What, what's going on here? It's really weird. So um, the animal blood comes in a rainbow of hues because of the varying chemistry of, you know, molecules and, you know, carrying oxygen. Does weird, does weird things. Humans use uh, hemoglobin. Uh, and that's where the iron comes into play. It gives it kind of that red hue that we're all used to. Uh, octopus, octopi. You got an octopus, and then there's another one hanging out. Uh, as long as as well as lobsters and uh, horseshoe crabs use uh, hemocyan. Cyan, get it? Blue, uh, which has copper instead of iron to carry the the uh, oxygen through the system. And as you know, it's kind of got that greenish blue hue to it. Um, let's see. Uh, there, let's see. They talk about um, other related molecules that give uh, some marine animals like a violet color. There are certain worms, uh, green for leeches, but the green blooded um, lizard uses hemoglobin, which I just spoke of and said that's red. Uh, so, what's going on here? So it turns out uh, that red blood cells live for about four months and then they die and the body recycles the iron, keeps them going. And um, the process creates a green pigment called uh, biliveridin, which is then can, uh, excuse me, turned into the yellow one, bilirubin. Now, if you had kids, you know what bilirubin is. But anyway, uh, they're both toxic. And the liver is pretty good at filtering them out. That's why when you get a bruise, it's black and blue and has that bilirubin and biliveridin. Um, that's basically the cells dying. So, um, and then again, they talk about, you know, kids having jaundice and that's, that's what that's all about. So liver kicks in, cleans all that junk out. Now these lizards, these New Guinea lizards are just green on the inside because they have nothing but biliveridin, which again, we said is poisonous. Um, and it has so much of that pigment that even though it's red blood, it overshadows that. Now you think about this. You, you've seen this example before. During the summer, spring, we have these beautiful green trees. Then the green dissipates and you have, you know, the, the browns and the reds and what have you, excuse me. Um, and I guess pretty much the same thing. You have so much green going on that it, it covers the red. So the same type of thing. Now, the weird thing is they, these suckers should be dead. I mean, we could arrange that. I mean, there, there are ways, but we'll get there. Uh, the belly veritin is deadly dangerous to DNA, kill cells, destroys neurons, things like that. Um, and they have like 20 times the concentration that would basically, you know, kill a human. Um, but yet they're still alive and they're not even jaundiced. So what's going on here? How's this happening? Anyway, the unusual physiology, physiology, their stuff, um, is only found in the New Guinea lizards. And there's like three species, as I mentioned. The, let's see, they want to talk about the, um, the green species. I hate Latin and Greek. Uh, let's see this. Oh, this one's Greek. It's, they are classified as Presino. Hemia, green blood, Greek. Yeah, there you go. Uh, by comparing the genes of five green-blooded species to the Australian lizards, um, Rodriguez, did I mention Rodriguez? Ah, so 
it was a colleague, Zachary Rodriguez. He discovered all this fun stuff. Um, he found a family tree and found out that the green-blooded species actually evolved from red-blooded and the green just showed up. And the cool thing is, I'll just skip to the end here because the end part is uh, just really cool. Um, it's, it's a protective nature for uh, preventing malaria. So those that have uh, the green, let's see, there's just one thing, green blood, the red don't have, uh, let's see, there's just one thing the green blooded species share and their red blood relatives don't. And that's a type of malaria, which is caused by the, oh boy, here we go. Plasmodia parasites. Yeah. Um, hundreds of these infect lizards. Some of them infect the green blooded ones, uh, but none of the red ones. And, and the, again, another Greek Latin word. Here we go to draw blood. <laughs> green. Let's see the, um, Belly variant can block the growth of the parasites and kill off infected red blood cells. And that is why the lizards have a, a great amount of it in their blood cells. It's an anti-parasite strategy. So there it is. It's something that should normally kill them. Their bodies have adapted to it. And now we have these greenish lizards. Uh, anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, Hope you found this informative. It sure beats reading about that stuff, huh? Um, miss me. Bye.